So tonight is the Maga Puja, um, and uh, particularly in Thai tradition, uh, this is a uh, important festival day. Um, the uh, observing of the full moon of uh, usually February, uh, but uh, this year is a, a little bit late. Same as the uh, like this year, the the entering of the rains will be be much uh, uh, will be later as uh, later than usual as well. Uh, just depends on how the moon days line up. Line up. But it's a uh, um, uh, it's a, a commemoration, uh, and you know what I'll be saying is most people already know, but it's good to uh, good to be uh, reviewing or recollecting. Um, it's a it's a day that. That is, uh, uh, for in Thailand, uh, the three main um, festival days, for like Buddhist festival days, there's, of course there's many festival days in Thailand, but, uh, but the, the three main Buddhist festival days are, are uh, Visakha Puja, which commemorates the Buddha's awakening, and so is a... Uh, uh, um, a homage to the Buddha, um, and then the uh, uh, the um, the day of the um, full moon in July, which is a uh, um, uh, a recollection of the Buddha's first teaching uh, uh, after his awakening. And so is a, uh, a commemoration, um, uh, paying homage to the Dhamma. And today, Maga Puja uh, is a uh, commemoration or paying homage to Sangha, because it's a, uh, a day that uh, commemorates uh, um, a spontaneous gathering uh, of uh, 1,250 arhant disciples uh, of the Buddha, and uh, this coming together of a, of a large uh, group of, of uh, uh, not only just disciples and sangha community, uh, but uh, 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 fully awakened. And it uh, took place quite early in the, the Buddha's uh, dispensation, uh, because it was it was shortly after um, uh, the uh, it took place in um, the Rajagir area. Uh, and uh, um, that was w when the Buddha began teaching, and there was uh, uh, people were already starting to uh, gather around uh, the Buddha. Say, like after the the first rains retreat, the Buddha began his began teaching the five. A great disciple of uh, five disciples uh, uh, for his uh, the, the beginning of the that first rains retreat and uh, and then they uh, became stream enters and then over uh, time uh, um, a, a period of time it doesn't really specify how long. Uh, after the, he, he gave his first teaching, but the, just saying that they would alternate going on uh, alms round, the Buddha would uh, give instruction and and uh, 
and then they they would uh, uh, share the food with each other, and then after uh, an appropriate amount of time, then they uh, they they uh, 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 the Buddha gave the uh, discourse on uh, not self, and that was the cause for the awakening of those first five disciples, f- you know, say full awakening. And then um, people started to hear about this group of, of summoners. It was right nearby um, Benares, which is, a, say, an, even in the Buddha's time, it was considered an ancient um, spiritual center. And uh, was a uh, a place of of pilgrimage and and uh, religious practice, um, and then they uh, so people there started to hear about this samana religious seeker, sort of on the outskirts of of, of Benares, and. Uh, and so that some of those people started to come and listen to his teaching. And and then by the end of that rains retreat, then there were 60 um, uh, awakened uh, disciples. And, uh, uh, and then people started... Sort of you know, gathering, and then, the, but then the Buddha, after the that rains retreat, then the Buddha decided to uh, go to to uh, Rajgir area uh, to uh, to teach there. One of the re- one of the reasons I've heard is that they, you know, even in the Buddha's time, and certainly to the to this present time, then it's. Uh, um, Benares is is just this powerhouse of the Brahmin cultures and uh, the, the Hindu traditions, and uh, he, he didn't think that it would be he could make much of a dent. And so then, but he was drawn to to the the Rajgir area, and then and it was after he arrived in that area after a little, not that long, uh, he, uh, um, he stayed with uh, um, uh, one of the kind of religious seekers of the, of the area, highly regarded, and then there was three of them, three uh, brothers who had their own and when they say brothers, it's not a, not a sure thing that they were actual, say, blood brothers, but they were like related by blood, but it could have been um, you know, kind of religious brothers. And they had their, their friend, friends, uh, at least. Uh, but anyway, there's the three Kasapa brothers, and they each had followings. Um, but totaling to to a thousand um, uh, religious seekers and then at uh, after living with them and then them becoming impressed um, then and uh, gaining faith in him then uh, asking for teachings from from the Buddha and then they uh, so that was a thousand to one goal is that was the, the, the Fire sermon uh, was the uh, the teaching that the Buddha gave. Um, so then, with other people, and then even it was still those early days. And uh, uh, sorry, Putta Mahakasapa, um, uh, Mahamogalana, uh, Mahakasapa a little bit later, uh, Mahamogalana. And uh, and others started to to come and 
gather around. So it didn't take probably within the first year uh, at some point. Um, then the, uh, it would have been 12, 1250. So this discourse was either given, say, the first year after the, the, uh, the, the Buddha was awakened, um, yeah, within that first year, or certainly within the second. So it's it, but the the uh, <clears throat> but especially with say with the the uh, for the within Thailand and the <clears throat> the sense of uh, acknowledging the and and um, uh, recognizing the the power of of sangha of community and uh, and the buddha himself uh, <clears throat> when he points to the refuges the refuges are buddha dhamma and sangha <clears throat> and uh, as a uh, uh, you know that which we take uh, as a you know, kind of a support, something to <clears throat> draw close to, something to be a um, uh, yeah, well, a refuge. Um, then the 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 that relying on <clears throat> this uh, spiritual community uh, is a is a really important basis for growth and and development in, in as the Buddha says in this in his dispensation. Um, of course, in America, yes, uh, well, well, I want to do it myself, you know. <laughs> and there, <laughs> but the uh, uh, there's that, there's a certain conceit that that and uh, and you know, let's say a lack of recognition of of the uh, uh, let's say that yeah the value of others' experience uh, in that that. Uh, in that in that perspective, and sort of the, um, you know, the kind of the mythology of the of the, uh, the the independent loner who who uh, 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 overcomes all obstacles. Yeah, nice ideal, but uh, maybe <laughs> maybe not so practical if you if you really is bent on on uh, freeing the heart from suffering and freeing oneself from from birth and death from samsara uh, personally I take whatever help I can get <laughs> so the, uh, the, uh, but that sense that the uh, the Buddha left this um, yeah, I mean, institution, it's, it's true. Uh, I, mean, I mean, nobody likes any institutions of any kind, but, uh, and particularly religious <laughs> institutions. Um, but uh, it, uh, it's a legacy <clears throat> that is, is uh, you know, a and any legacy can be misused or use skillfully. And f a, the Buddha's dispensation <coughs> is one that, that is uh, <coughs> circles around and rely, relies on, on wisdom. Um, so that um, 
so the, just when when the reflection or recollection of the qualities of the Buddha, um, you know, wisdom is a is a main quality. Um, usually, when we think of the the the, the qualities of the uh, of the Buddha, and it's uh, wisdom, compassion, purity. Those are the, the kind of the uh, the, the, the pillars that that, that create a, uh, a basis for for awakening uh, and and awakened action uh, in the uh, in the world so that um, and even the, the Dhamma the teachings are pointing to a a uh, an, an application of of wisdom, so that similar similarly with the <clears throat> the approach to sangha is you know relying on wisdom discernment um, and gleaning or learning from uh, the example and experience of others, so that it's a a basis for uh, uh, say that example of wisdom is the basis for our own ability to cultivate and and develop yeah, our, our own wisdom. So that the the refuge of sangha is a, is a, is a really in, in, important refuge because it's it's. Uh, um, you know, if something's theoretical, then you can hold whatever views you want, um, uh, and you and we tend to. Um, but uh, uh, having uh, having a living example uh, that passes on um, the the you know, the essence of 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 the. Uh, of the dispensation, um, and and not just as knowledge, but as conduct as well. Uh, it's like that's when when that's you know when we think of even with the uh, <coughs> the refuge of the Buddha, one of the epithets for the Buddha that that. Uh, um we uh, uh we recite uh we chajarna sampano so that uh, perfect in knowledge and conduct um and that that's a it's an important um manifestation of the um, way of wisdom is to to, to live wisely as well as to say a bunch of wise things uh, so, so it's uh, and that's that's a uh, uh, and so for the sangha and that, that, that um, having a uh, a code of conduct and training that helps to to guide and and provide the basis for how one lives uh, is is really important, and then that, that's um, one of the uh, in terms of this this Maga Puja. <clears throat> You know, uh, yeah, it was a it was a day that the sp- spontaneous gathering of of arahants and uh, you know, wonderful you know, say examples of sangha um, all gathered together. Uh, but then the Buddha gave a, a particular teaching that day, the, what's called the Owada Patimoka, and we. Uh, Chanted it after uh, the uh, uh, the the evening puja um, uh, this evening, and and it's 
to me it's really very interesting in how fundamental this in instruction is uh, you know the the Buddha is not sort of going he's not going on about emptiness and and uh, uh, liberated awareness and and uh, and bodhicitta and it's, it's he's a how are you going to live your life? Uh, and this is to 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 awakened beings. Uh, so he doesn't need to talk about the uh, say refinements of of uh, either you know the, of letting go and relinquishment. They've already done that, uh, and and it doesn't. Uh, Need to be, uh, you know, drawing out the the dangers of samsara or anything. It's, uh, they've already done. They've already seen that. Um, but how are they going to live? And what's the focus? Um, so that that the the and and it, it's uh, say on a certain level, it's just so straightforward. Um, that it's easy to overlook its its importance, um, so that 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 sense of yes, yeah, not doing any evil, just that just that refraining from anything that's unskillful, of refraining from anything that is, and this is this, uh, and of course for for a, an arhat. That's not difficult to do, but it's important to to be bringing that into the world for, say, us, twenty five hundred years later. Uh, that that is the the foundation. That, that refraining from from that not doing akaranang, just not doing that which is 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 unwholesome, unskillful, evil. Kusala Subhasambada, to be committed uh, to the good, to the kusala, the skillful, the wholesome, the beneficial. Um, this, this, you know, that commitment to that, uh, that, that, that action that is based in the, and uh, based in the good. Sajita Bali Yotapanang, to purify one's mind. That willingness to let go uh, of let go of that which is stained, that which is uh, not that beautiful, not that, that's, it's not, that's particularly, this, you know, not uh, complicated with likes and dislikes, not complicated with dullness and confusion, not complicated with Kind of restlessness and worry, not complicated with doubt and and uh, and hesitation. Uh, kind of a mental wavering, uh, just to yeah to purify one's mind. It's just keeping the mind straight. Uh, uh, and that's uh, and so the etang buddha anasasana. These are the teachings of all all Buddhas. He said that. And he said, and 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 it's intra And again, this is say the interesting the, the, the how the Buddha phrases that. In that that uh, it's uh, this isn't just what I'm teaching, but any and uh, awake any awakened Buddha. Uh, from from at any point in time, uh, this is the essence of what a, what a, what a, what an awakened being teaches. This is what a Buddha brings into the world. Kanti paramang tapo titika, patient endurance is the highest practice, burning out defilements. 
and that uh, that's a uh, uh, that's I, mean, I lived with Ajahn Chah for many years, and and I just heard so many times, "Be patient," <laughs> and it was. And you, you you realize, and it's it's only after, say, practicing and struggling with one's own limitations and difficulties and and biases and complications that uh, you know there isn't. A, a, you know, everybody wants the short, easy. What's the quickest way to to a, to enlightenment? What's the quickest way to get the, the mind peaceful? What's the what's the easy way? And and there isn't. I mean, if you're not willing to be patient, if you're not willing to endure, well, tough luck. You might find you might shop around and find some other religion somewhere. <laughs> but there. The uh, um, one has to be willing to to uh, you know, to have that sense of uh, uh, resolution of resilience uh, uh, to have an enduring mind. And this isn't. And again, this is a teaching that's based in wisdom. This is not just sort of. Say the dumb, patient endurance of, say, as, as the, uh, uh, the Ajahn Chah and the Thai forest masters use. This is not the the, the 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 patience of a buffalo, the, or the religious practice of a buffalo. This you have to be applying your wisdom and discernment. You have to be reflecting and investigating. You have to truly understand, but. In order to understand, you have to be willing to keep returning to that sense of yeah, a sense of resilience within the heart, and it's that resilience that's, that is actually starts to see things and accept truth. Um, I mean, our mind lies to us all the time. And we keep falling for it. And so to 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 be able to be patient enough to recognize what is true, what is what is false. Nibbanang paramang vadanti Buddha. The Buddhas say nibbana is supreme. So that that uh, it's not. Gain wealth, honor, fame—that's supreme. It is. It's nibbana, the end of suffering. It's this, this, this liberation from greed, hatred, delusion. That is what is 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 the highest goal. Uh, it's not some heavenly state somewhere. It's this uh, this ending of suffering. Ending of becoming, ending of the identification with I, me, and mine. That is what is supreme. Nahi pamahaji do parubhagati. Not a renunciant is one who injures others. And, and that's, uh, um, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, Injuring, harming, uh, taking advantage of uh, others. There's not really. There's not a place for that uh, in the Buddha's dispensation. There's not a place for that in the Sangha. Um, so it's it's a uh, uh, and in the same samanohoti parangvihetayanto. Yeah, whoever troubles others. Uh, can't be called a can't be called a monk. Can't be called samana. Can't be called a samana, a religious seeker. So anupavado anupagato, not to insult, not to injure. 
that again a sense of yeah kind of a squeaky clean approach to how one interacts and relates uh, with 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 others so that there's a there's a harmlessness and a a sensitivity to um, maintaining um, you know, compassionate relationships with with each other out of uh, uh, this, uh, a quality of kindness uh, has got to come through um, uh, and not one of either competition or denigration or uh, or, or yeah, or taking advantage of in some way, uh, being hurtful. Pati moke je sangwolo, you know, to live restrained by training rules. Pati moke, it's having training rules. So that's a, and whether it's for the monastics uh, who have an say extensive body of training rules or or for the lay community um, the, a, a a set of of, of, yeah, of moral precepts uh, is is a is an important necessary foundation and to be you know, to have that restraint and and to honor that restraint they, rather than uh, finding shortcuts around it, or trying to uh, to uh, um, selectively uh, uh, ap- apply them, um, selective in terms of one's preference in the given moment, uh, but to to take on the the, the, the training, um, and of course, matanyuta uh, jabatasaming. Knowing one's measure at the meal, and matanyuta is, is a uh, um, uh, the uh, is a knowing what's just enough. Uh, it doesn't mean one is uh, going short or. Um, um, uh, being, uh, uh, say, so, you know, um, yeah, so there's, it's enough to 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 look after oneself, to be healthy, to be energetic, uh, and because the me- say that knowing knowing one's measure at the meal. It's, it's one of the things that the Buddha says is when we learn how to be uh, r- have restraint with food, we will know how to have restraint with the other six senses, uh, and and that's a it's because that's sort of our our most immediate and and certainly uh, you know, compelling. Usually, uh, the, the, that that comes up just knowing how, n- knowing what's what's appropriate, what's enough, what's what is 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 the uh, an evenness with with one's uh, yeah consumption, uh, and uh, not overdoing it, but not being you know so so ascetic. Uh, that one is 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 not healthy, or no one is 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 not even. You know, and the Buddha allows us to be comfortable, um, so that that, uh, 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 that 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 knowing one's measure at the meal. That's uh, it's a window into knowing what what's what's con- how can we be content. Uh, because there's a there, there's a happiness that comes from you know, from cons- consumption or getting what one wants, but does that actually make us content? Does it make us a heart steady? And uh, 
uh, and and that's just that knowing was measure so so that one is is uh, gaining wisdom in that application of relationship to the the world around with the senses um pandanja sayanasana retreating to a lonely place you know, living in quiet places living in forests living in secluded uh, circumstances um, the Buddha is, is uh, there's, there's one kind of uh, almost uh, well, surprising sutta um, where the Buddha says says when he, he sees a a monk sort of accomplished in in uh, is is, uh, is getting um, uh, very peaceful and and uh, uh, um, um, say, say gaining samadhi, but is living in crowded circumstances. Um, He's not as happy as he as seeing a monk living in the forest and nodding and having difficulties with his meditation. And so, sort of, oh, that's interesting, because uh, it's, it's and he says it's says this is it because somebody who's living in 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 crowded or 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 uh, um, you know, busy circumstances and complicated circumstances, that peaceful meditation is going, they're going to fall away from that. But even if somebody's having difficulty with their meditation, having difficulty with but they're yeah, they're they're devoted to being in 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 supportive an environment. That environment will be a a a cause for for their Growth in the future. That's a, that's an interesting, interesting sutta. It's like a, it's in the, it's in the Anguttara, Anguttara fives, I think. It's, it's going to, that's a little bit. Adijite cha yoko, devotion to the higher mind. It says adijite, so that's both the uh, development of tranquility as well as the development of liberating insight and so that that and that and as well devotion to the uh, 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 the, the higher sila samadhi panya adi jite is a culmination of the heart being being freed etang buddhana sasana these are the teachings of all buddhas so that's a uh, uh, again. That's the this is this is what all Buddhas are going to be uh, teaching. And you know, when Buddhas come into the world uh, to to teach, to uh, uh, share their their insight into liberation. Um, this is how it can be embodied and lived. So that's a, uh, that's a few reflections around Magapuja and Magapuja teachings.